Hi, I'm Brett. Today I've got a really good update to give you some more information on the current model Subaru GC8, the 99-2000 models, whether it's a wagon or a sedan, an SDR or a WRX. But before we talk about this particular model, we've had quite a few emails and messages recently asking about what this actually is and what the importance is, is when we're running our dyno cell. Now, what I'm going to do is explain in the next couple of minutes the importance on these Subarus of having good, reliable air to the top man intercoolers for stable temperatures when the engine's under load and then we'll talk about how the air in our dyno cell works. So first and foremost, you understand that Subarus are pretty unique with having top man intercoolers. And one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is even with the bonnet up and no, and just a, a blower fan here, there's not enough air going through the intercooler to, to create a consistent amount of high volume air to create consistent uh, temperatures when the compressed air out of the turbo is going through the intercooler to um, have consistent air inlet temperatures at the engine because you remember when the turbo compresses the air it gets hot the intercooler is designed to cool it and it's only as good as what it can cool it with the amount of air that th flows through it so even if you've got your bonnet shut and a blower fan on a dyno going through it you physically cannot get enough air in the intercooler scoop on the bonnet in a stationary environment such as this but also if you lift the bonnet open and you just do a power run by the end of the power run the intercooler is heat soaked so bad the final um, few RPM at the top of the rev limit, the intercooler is starting to effectively have no effect on um, inlet temperatures at all and you start to end up tuning the car for an environment that it will never exist in because when it's going down the road it has a lot better air intake um, performance for the intercooler. So what we do is we have this. Now what this is is a, a, um, a drum type fan, not a axial fan. It actually spins and the good thing about a drum type fan, you can see inside here the, the drum itself, it creates positive pressure or torque as opposed to an axial fan like a fan you see say on the front of a radiator and when I turn this on you'll see why it actually creates a lot of volume of air and at the same time this effectively is one giant almost like almost like a windsock and then we attach it to the top man intercooler and in the case of this particular car it's got an early old school APS top man intercooler and this then constantly feeds air to the top man intercooler when we're running the dyno um, um, when the car's running from a low point of view. Now, you might say, well, where does the air come for the front of the radiator and then to cool the underside of the car and take heat away from the exhaust manifold and the rest of the exhaust? Well, that comes from up in here and our, in, our dyno cell draws the air in and it comes down through here, effectively hits the floor and goes straight through the front of the car that way. So that way we don't have to have a big fan in front because this whole environment, effectively, the air gets replaced um, every 10 or 20 seconds because up above me is a ginormous fan that sucks the air out which creates that vacuum through in the first place. So what I'll do, I'm going to turn this on just to give you an idea. It's a bit noisy, it's old school stuff but it really works well and we can have the ability to turn it on separately. And you see there, what it does is it just fills up and that blows air consistently down onto the top of the intercooler. And if I pull this out of the way, you can see there's the intercooler there, and underneath it, it's exactly the same way. So that's what allows us to get a lot more consistent uh, power runs multiple times in a shorter period of time, but at the same time, create really good consistent runs with good accurate tuning results. And remember, the, this model car, yes, we do do a lot of custom factory ECU tuning on the original factory ECU. So you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Um, check out our other videos and of course check out the next video. I'm going to give you an update on this particular car. But for now, my name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.